Hey, I'm Eric. I'm here with Andrew. We're at Galbraith Mountain and we're going to be testing out 29 versus mullet setups on our Druid and Dreadnought. We're going to be swapping back and forth using the Ziggy Link uh, for our forbidden bikes. Yeah, so we got the Ziggy Link. Um, it's a separate link that you can buy for your Druid or Dreadnought or it can come stock as well. Um, it basically adjusts the geometry on your bike uh, to run a 27.5 wheel on the rear. Sick, yeah. And we're going to be doing a bit of bro science with our free lap timer here. We're going to be doing two laps at least where Andrew's on the mullet and then we're going to swap and I'm going to be on the mullet and we're going to see if our 29er times or our mullet times have any significant difference on the timing system. All right, let's do it. Let's do it. Hello. Take two. We're ready, folks. Okay, see ya. Poor Lee. <laughs> We just uh, did our fifth lap down Atomic Dog here. Um, we started with two laps on our regular setup, so I'm regularly on the mullet and Eric is regularly on the full 29. So we did two laps regular and then we switched. And so I had the full 29 and Eric had the mullet. Did two laps like that and then we switched again back to our original setup to see if the times changed or anything like that. We've got the times here on the free lap and what we'll see here is that Andrew and I are remarkably similar in speed. We had almost identical times on the first two laps and then very similar afterwards. And the trend is really just that we got faster as we went. So we're not seeing that the mullet or the full 29 was particularly faster than the other, but we did notice some differences in feel. In the corners, you can lay the bike over and it just corners a little bit tighter, a little bit easier than on the full 29, as you'd expect. You do feel the smaller wheel getting hung up on stuff, but it doesn't necessarily mean you're going slower. You just have to be more active in your riding style with that smaller rear wheel to pick it up over the bumps and stuff like that. Yeah, I would agree with that. Um, I felt a little more efficient, just a little bit better at holding the speed overall through the bumps and stuff with the full 29. Uh, I usually ride this bike mullet just all the time and um, it definitely like rips in the real tight corners. I definitely notice it if you just really drop that inside shoulder and just rip around it. But switching back and forth you really do notice this the rear end just getting uh, a little more bumped around and you just got to be a bit more active and work a little harder to keep your speed, especially on a track like this which is like just a big pump track. Um, but overall, I felt more efficient, like I was using less energy, working, working less hard to go the same speed on the full 29. Yeah. That being said, our times were 
nearly the same, if not exactly the same, with both wheel sizes. So, if you are racing, it doesn't seem like you're at a disadvantage if you're running the mullet setup, and it does feel more fun. So if you're racing sometimes, but you're really just like ripping corners and jumps and stuff like that, that's where the mullet shines. Like it, it's a feel difference, mm. and you, you can confidently know that you're not gonna be slower than your buddies, and your bike feels the way you want it to. So having that choice with the Ziggy Link is pretty sweet. Yeah. yeah, if you encounter some really tight, steep tracks, you could literally just swap in, uh, in the Ziggy Link in the morning or something and go ride that and rip the turns, or if you just wanna race, Maybe full 29. Having more options and knowing that, okay, this feels a certain way. We know it's not slower. You know, that's that's great. Like, it's why we test different shocks, different setups. Yeah. Hopefully this helps you make an informed decision. Uh, if you need a 27.5 rear wheel for your Druid or Dreadnought, you can get one on the Wheel Builder at Fanatic Bike Co. Um, or you can get the Ziggy Link build that Andrew has here on the Druid complete from Forbidden. Yep, yep. Yeah, we were super uh, consistent today on this trail. I think it's uh, a, like a one-line trail. There's not really much to differentiate ourselves. So I think we might have to take this to like another trail with some features, some tighter stuff, more variety, just to kind of feel out if there actually is any difference because we tend to race on a fair variety of stuff. So why not uh, test it that way? <laughs> Very nice. Tongue guy.